Hey, good morning, Tubers. <clears throat> Been constantly asked the question where I get all these cells from, so I thought I'd address that quickly. Um, basically, with probably 80% of all these cells, I've got them from a single source, a computer recycler. Um, she does a, a great deal of high quantities of um, computer recycling and stuff like that. So I've been exceedingly lucky that I have, look around you, I own a computer shop. I work in my shed, but it's still a computer shop. I've been doing it for 16 years. So I, I gathered a few cells myself, but the large majority of them from a single source from a computer recycler. Now I've spent days, literally days and days and days on end, on the phone, ringing up schools, hospitals, um, government agencies, recycling centers like the tip shops and stuff like that, um, uh, ex-government computer places, um, Battery World, um, where else? Um, like, um, like eBay. You go on eBay and you find a seller that sells a whole heap of new batteries, you just send them an email and say, hey look, do you buy your old one, do you sell your old ones? Now I do not pay more than $2.50 each for a battery pack that's stuffed, that can't be tested. Uh, why is it $2.50? Well, it's $2.50 because $2.50 is about five times its scrap value, and a lot of these computer shops and stuff like that, just throw them out anyway. So I'm buying 10 or 20 at a time, they get 100 bucks. I mean, that works, or 50 or 100 bucks or whatever. Um, I, I, I am quite lucky because I do have a lot of friends that own computer shops as well, or maybe not friends, but certainly acquaintances that own computer shops. Um, so I've stopped in there and asked the question. Um, I've probably done that to about 100 computer shops in, in Brisbane. Um, so I guess it's legwork and good luck. So just get out there and ask the question. Stop ringing me. There's a bunch of you that have got my phone number and have rung me over and over and over again. Don't do it. Ring once. Have some respect. Ring once. No, good. You know, don't just keep ringing over and over again. Some of you have got my wholesaler's number which is completely useless because I get all of them anyway, so ringing her is useless as well. Um, if we ever sell any of them through her, I will be doing that for her and they will be, you know, I'm not selling the battery packs, I'll sell the actual tested batteries. That way I value add to them and I get more than $2.50 per, per pack. Probably want a dollar per cell. Because let's face it, we're all here to make money, aren't we? So that's how I get them. Um, ask the question, get out there, um, and it's just not laptop batteries, it's um, older printers, um, battery operated printers have them, um, uh, power tools, so you could ask at Bunnings and your local Bunnings and your hardware shops and stuff like that if they had any old batteries, um, go to your local battery world and see if they'll sell the old batteries that people recycle in there. They probably get them for free, but they're making money too. So give, give them a couple of bucks of batteries. Um, I mean, hell, I've got a couple of hundred here. I've got five or 600 cells I'm not using. All of them tested in between 1,000 milliamp hours and uh, 1,800 milliamp hours. I think all the 1,800 milliamp hours have been sold. But I've got a heap of batteries here. If you want the cheaper ones, I sell them for a dollar a cell. Come and pick up any you want. I'm not posting them. Come on, guys, I'm not, I don't post shit. It's, it's, it drives me crazy, to be honest. You know, someone says they want 10 cells, can I get a postage quote? You go down, you get your postage quote, you come, it doesn't work. If you want them, private message me, I'll give you my address, you rock up, and at an arranged time, you can have a look at all this shit, and then I'll sell you some other cells. They're a dollar each, they're guaranteed, they're all tested with the IMAX B2 or the, what is it? Whatever the other one I've got over there. Um, and most of them have marked whether they've been discharged at one amp or two amps. So you know exactly what you're getting. Anyway guys, I'll leave that on there for now. I've got a few other videos to edit that I've done over the last two weeks. I should get in and do that because I've got four days off. No computers for four days. 
is going to be sweet. And hopefully the next day or two we get to the engineers and spend an entire day at the engineers on the metal press thing, making some racks and mounts for this, which I'm fucking totally excited to do.